all students in this video lecture we are going to discuss serous membranes serous membranes are specialized membranes which surround our vital organs like the digestive system heart and lungs which have ability to contract and relax there are three major types of serous membrane number 1 peritoneum peritoneum is a mem serous membrane which is present in the abdominal cavity we will discuss in detail later on the second serous membrane is known as pericardium this serous membrane surrounds our heart and the third serous membrane is known as pleura which surrounds our lungs now let's discuss these uh, pleural membranes or serous membranes one by one in detail so first of all i am going to describe peritoneum as you know that in our major body part which is known as trunk there are two major cavities thoracic cavity and abdominal cavities peritoneum is a serous membrane which is present in the abdominal cavity of the body if you look at this diagram this is the uh, ventral portion of the body and uh, in this diagram there are different organs shows in in the diagram with blue and red colors on the top of the diagram as you can see in the purple line this is a diaphragm diaphragm is a muscular sheet which separates thoracic cavity from abdominal cavity and present in the middle of these two cavities just below the diaphragm there is a an organ gland which is liver stomach large intestine small intestine and different visceral organ which are present in our gut which are present in our abdomen which includes different glands and digestive system these organs have ability to contract and relax for the purpose of the movement of food from the anterior end of the digestive tract to the posterior end of the digestive tract so that is why these organs which are known as visceral organs are protected by serous membranes by help of with the help of serous membranes these serous membranes are known as peritoneum so there is a two types of serous membrane peritoneum parietal peritoneum and visceral peritoneum if you look at the diagram the outermost lining just below below the skin inside the cavity as you can see in the red line this is known as parietal peritoneum because it encircles the abdominal cavity which is also known as peritoneum this uh, parietal peritoneum contains a cavity which is known as peritoneum peritoneum is a cavity which contains serous fluid which has a composition just like saliva and there is a second peritoneum second type of peritoneum which is known as visceral peritoneum visceral peritoneum surrounds our vital organs like the digestive system if you look at the liver you can see the blue lining which is a visceral peritoneum just around the stomach visceral peritoneum just around the large intestine small intestine and all glands present in the abdomen they contain visceral peritoneum which surrounds them and these peritoneum also connected with mesenteries as you can see in the green color in the diagram these green color parts are known as mesenteries mesenteries keeps the organs separated and uh, keep those organs in their place otherwise they can intermingle with each other and can be displaced from one position to another so in this way on the top there is a diaphragm then there are different organs like liver stomach large intestine small intestine which are kept separated by mesenteries and there are two types of uh, peritoneum parietal peritoneum which surrounds the outermost part of the cavity and which is visceral peritoneum which surrounds the different organs present in the abdominal cavity so these are the uh, peritoneum uh, serous membranes present in the 
abdominal cavity. Just below the abdominal cavity, there is a pelvic cavity. Pelvic cavity contains urinary bladder, which also contract to remove the urine from the body, which is also surrounded by a small membrane, which is also known as serous membrane. And uh, there is also uh, another serous membrane, which is known as vaginal, uh, vaginal tunix, which surrounds the testes and scrotum in the male. Uh, uh, and it is also serous membrane which is present in the pelvic region of the body. Now let's discuss the second type of the serous membrane which is known as pericardium. Peri means around cardium in heart. This membrane surrounds the heart of the human. If we take a look of deep look into the, uh, uh, take a small portion of the pericardium and enlarge it in the diagram so that we can visualize all the parts of the diagram so as you know that there are heart muscles there is a wall of the heart which is made up of cardiac muscle it has three layers which is known as the innermost layer is known as endocardium muscular layer which is known as myocardium and the outermost layer of the heart wall is known as epicardium just outside the epicardium there is a protective layer which is known as pericardium the outermost layer of pericardium is known as fibrous pericardium. It is made up of a very strong fibrous connective tissue. Just below the fibrous pericardium, there is a layer of pericardium which is known as parietal layer which surrounds the heart. And then there is a cavity between heart wall and parietal layer which is known as pericardial cavity which contains pericardial fluid which is the composition of saliva and helps to avoid friction during the process of beating of the heart. So this pericardial fluid present just below the wall of the heart and pericardium uh, helps uh, to stop the friction during the contraction and relaxation of the heart muscles and also provide, uh, pr uh, provide the uh, space in which heart can contract and relax and uh, does not allow too much expansion of the heart. The third type of the serous membrane which is present in our body which is known as pleura. Pleura is the pleural form which is uh, external pleural membrane and internal pleural membrane. Pleura is the membrane, serous membrane which surrounds our lungs in, and lungs are as you know that present in our thoracic cavity just below the ribs. So if we look at this diagram, these are the lungs and these lungs are uh, surrounded by a membrane which is known as pleural membrane. So I have taken a small piece of pleural membrane right over here. If you look at in detail, the outermost layer of the pleural membrane is known as parietal pleura. It is also known as external pleural membrane and the innermost layer of the pleural membrane is known as visceral pleura which surrounds the lungs. And between these two layers, there is a space which is known as pleural space, which sometimes have a small amount of serous fluid, just like the composition of saliva, to avoid the friction during the expansion and contraction of the lungs during the process of breathing. Right over here, you can see the muscles of the tissues of the lungs. So in this way, all these uh, pleural membranes, pericardium and peritoneal membrane, which are overall, overall known as serous membranes, they surrounds our vital organs and provide space for different vital organs to perform their function which is contraction usually most of the time like, like lungs and the heart and the digestive system and also helps them uh, to avoid too much friction during contraction and relaxation and uh, helps to protect those vital organs. So I hope it makes sense and I'll see you in the next lecture until then. Bye.